for the third lens in the trinity of Sony lens, uh, Tamron lenses for Sony that I uh, bought, Sony Zooms. It's a 17 to 28 f2.8 di3 RxD. Um, if you've seen my review for the 28 to 75, you'll know why I bought this lens. I mainly bought it for those scenes in the studio where kids are jumping and I don't want to risk losing their limbs off the side of the frame. And as far as that's concerned, this lens has very much done exactly what I wanted it to do. I feel like there's a lot of distortion down at 17, but I don't shoot lens shots. Um, I tend to shoot at around 20 when I'm using this. Um, push up to 24, tend not to go before 24. If, I'm, if I feel like I'm regularly above 24, I'll switch lenses out to the 28 to 75 anyway. Um, I'm not naturally a wide shooter. Um, I am a big believer that if your photos aren't good enough, you're probably not close enough. Um, but then again, I don't shoot landscapes. But this thing is absolutely tiny um, for what it is. You compare it to, I always hop back to, to Pentax because that's where my experience is. But comparing it to like the smaller zooms, smaller range zooms, um, it has a smaller range, of course. It only goes 17 to 28, where 16 to 35 is more traditional. But it's all internal focus, or is it? Not really. Well, the lens doesn't, ex doesn't increase in size, internally, it moves. So there is still the potential there for introduction of moisture and dust. So it's fully protruding at 17 and it retracts to 28. It is advertised as weather sealed. It does have a gasket on the back there. Um, I haven't even used it outdoors, I don't think, if I'm being totally honest. Um, so I couldn't comment on how confident I am in it. But I wouldn't hesitate to use it in a drizzle, if I'm being honest. Um, probably wouldn't use it in a downpour. Image quality, um, hopefully I've put some images on the screen um, that I've shot using this camera, this lens. Um, may be difficult because I don't always get permission to share images from clients, particularly when it's children. Um, and this is where I've mainly used this lens. Yeah, I don't see the point in me going out and shooting landscapes with it for you because I don't shoot landscapes really. And um, if I did shoot landscapes, I'm more likely to use the 70 to 180. Um, but yeah, very nice lens, pairs very well with the others. Um, I didn't really want to buy it, to be honest, because I don't really shoot wide very often. But I am glad I did. It serves the purpose. Um, does things very nicely.